What's up? Happy Monday. So this is a new view, um, but we're in the car and he's driving. And um, we've had a pretty eventful, funny Monday. Well, so I, of course, had um, some permission to tell this story because this has to go with Gerard's life here. And I have told you guys, I've been, you know, told you guys a lot about my life, obviously, and my past and my history and stuff like that. Well, Gerard's um, past and history is very, 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 very similar. Hey, everyone. <laughs> um, and so, and he had a past, you know, he has a past as well. And also, had like a no, dead. he has a past, a, <laughs> a very distinct past. And, um, obviously like, you know, we've committed crimes and stuff. So he also is a convicted felon, um, and you know, has changed his life around and he's currently on probation. Um, and he's been doing so well. He's been on it for several years. He's done everything. And so today, um, he had a scheduled court date, um, to get off at like his uh, probation officer they all think they all think he should get off probation right we're petitioning yes to get him off probation early to release me thank from you probation well, i'm telling him that so they all believe he should get petitioned off probation early so he has to go in front of the judge and that's what he was supposed to do today and it was like um he, the court time was at nine o'clock but if anyone's ever been to the courthouse they take forever you never know because sometimes they have trials that come up and stuff like this so i've probably mentioned you know how high maintenance he is which i love about him and you know he was very very dapper with his suit on and stuff and i was going to drop the kids and meet him up but so they ended up continuing for that part of the story but you guys gotta have to hear what happened when he was waiting down at the courthouse now go drive okay. and don't wreck so um like Brittany said I got ready and I went down there and I was waiting for I have an attorney and I was waiting for him and I got down there and the courtroom was completely empty so I didn't want to sit out in the hallway so I went in the courtroom and I was on my phone and I was just playing around and whatnot on my phone and this guy comes up to me and you know he just sits down like right next to me and that was kind of odd because like there's like no one in there but me and him and there's all this all this room and he just leans over and he's like hey guy he's like listen he's like um i got caught with a pistol right and uh, <laughs> you know and i'm a convicted felon so they charged me with weapons under disability and it carries a mandatory prison term and it's like i'm really not trying to go back to jail and i was like well, who is you know i mean it's not like you wake up in the morning like going to join today so and i'm talking to him well he's talking to me i'm not really talking to him it, you know he's telling him all the details tells of the story how he got caught with the pistol and all this and then he's like well you know uh, my cousin i would I, his cousin ray ray was killed like two weeks ago shot right and he's like i'm gonna tell him that it was ray ray's gun what do you think about that? Do you think that's a good move? And I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. I mean, just I do what you, you know, whatever you think's gonna help you out, buddy. And he's like, and he's like, oh, are you waiting on your client? And I'm like, what do you mean, my client, dude? I was like, man, I'm trying to get off probation. <laughs> they, the guy thought that Jerry was a lawyer and was telling him like all these details of his case. <laughs> asking Jerry for legal advice. So, it's a couple of <laughs> hilarious. So, it's even more funny is like so like we were like, "Oh, this is like the first time you're going to court and it's like actually good stuff, all good, yeah. you're not scared." But the fact that the dude like he obviously got dressed up enough that the guy thought that Jerry was an attorney. But second part is like his lawyer was like, you know, make sure you dress nice, which everyone knows he Jerry always tries to dress nice. So we were like joking about going to <laughs> going to men's warehouse and getting him like a tuxedo, tuxedo with the cummerbund, a top hat, and a monocle and a cane. cane and come in like, 
So that was our laugh for the day. Um, attorney Powers here. Yep. Um, Met you know, Cam Powers. Met Cam represent. Powers representing the yeah. legal team. <laughs> but it was our laugh for the day, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, anyways, I hope you're having a good Monday, a good week. The case was continued. We have ne next we're, Tuesday. It's next Tuesday. So we'll see. You know if he gets any more clients until that. Uh, <laughs> until then, you guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>